Now let's do some variations on this. Let's take this range of cells and let's rename this range to returns, for example. And let's get rid of this. And let's get rid of this. So in here, we have gone back to our count the rows and count the columns program. Let's write returns here. And let's write returns here. As you can see, we can count the rows and count the columns. All we've done is we've, instead of calling this B5 to G14, we've called this range returns. In a similar way, we can work with this here. Returns. Then returns. And then returns. Right, this works as well. The advantage of naming a range of cells and then calling it by its name, we can take our program and we can run it on any spreadsheet. It doesn't matter what the r size of the range returns is, we can still count the columns, count the rows, and transpose the returns. Let's take a look at our sub-transposer line by line. So firstly we declare the variables. Secondly we count the number of rows, number of columns as above. Thirdly we use this redim statement. Can you see how up here when we dim our array we don't include any dimensions here we redim our array and this time we give dimensions the advantage of using this redim method is because we can have a variable for the number of rows and for the number of columns and then we read the stock returns into the array very simply with a nested for loop as you will remember from last week and then we transpose and output the stock returns into the blue cells again we use a nested for loop this time when we use range we just swap around i and j in the dot cells we could have placed this in here and only used one nested for loop but I thought it would be better to outline every step for you. Now suppose that we didn't use this redim. Suppose we can comment out this dim and we can just make this a dim. Let's see what happens. You can see it doesn't work. So what we can learn from this is that when we dim an array the rows and columns must be a number it can't be a variable so if we were to write 10 and 6 in here this would work and it works because it's not a variable if we want to put a variable in here we need to use redim So the best way to learn this is to go and play around with it yourself. So don't be scared, play around with it, see what happens, see what comes out. Another thing that I would like to show you is if I remove this as double here, it will still work. Now let's say if I write as integer here, will it still work? No, it gets an error because it's a different data type. Now, let's say if I write 
as double here and here I remove this dim as double we get an error as well so remember keep your data types constant you can remove the as double from both statements and it will still work also you will remember from previous weeks that these two lines are optional do this now.